Okay, I've got a customer who bought this old truck, and before he starts fixing all the rust, he wants me to check out the engine to see if it's any good. So I'll open it up and take a look. Now, it's obviously not the original engine. It's a much newer engine, but he doesn't know anything of the history, so today I'm going to show you how to check out an engine. All you need is a simple compression test kit like this. I paid less than 45 bucks for it at Harbor Freight Tools. And in this case, we're going to do a wet and dry compression test to see if the piston rings are worn. So first, we'll take all the spark plug wires and the spark plugs out. We'll just get a wrench in the socket and take them all out. And out they come. Then we're going to analyze the spark plugs first. Not a good sign. They're black, which means it's running rich, and there's also some oil fouling, which means it's burning some oil. And when I look at another one of the spark plugs, it has even more carbon buildup, so that's not boating well for this engine. But we're going to check all the compression to see what's happening inside to know for sure. We'll get the compression tester, then screw the hose into one of the spark plug holes, get it nice and snug, and then plug that into the gauge end. Ah. Then we'll crank the engine over and see what the pressure is in that cylinder. Now in this case it's about 125 pounds, which is relatively low for this engine, but now we're going to squirt some oil in that cylinder. We're going to unscrew the hose that goes in the hole, then we'll use a funnel and a hose to pour a little oil inside that cylinder. We just stick it in the hole and pour some oil in. Then we'll take another compression reading. Now the pressure went up to about 160 pounds. Since it's got all that extra pressure, that means the piston rings are warm. Because adding oil to the cylinder can help seal the piston rings and make the pressure go higher. It means that the engine's just flat and wearing out inside. Now I'm going to test the rest of the eight cylinder on this car because the customer's paying me for it. But really, I know I'm going to end up telling them don't bother fixing the truck unless you want to put a new engine on it. Because when you're factoring all this rust that's going to have to be cut out and fixed with new metal and a new engine, he might just give up on the project. So if you want to know what kind of shape your engine is in, now you know how to test it. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.